Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Touch TV News Channel. The best. The Chairman Senate Committee on Public Account, Senator Ahmed Wadada Aliu, said on the activities of the committee with regard to the consideration of the Auditor General Annual Report on the Account of the Federation for the year ended 31st December 2019. On Tuesday, August 13, 2024, the Senate Public Account Committee of the 10th National Assembly is compared to address the obvious uncooperative attitude of some chief executive officers and accounting officers. According to the Senate Committee on the Public Accounting, he said in Section 621 of the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria as authored states, the Senate or the House of Representatives may appoint a committee of its member for such special or general purpose as they intend opinion would be better regulated and managed by means of such a committee. By resolution, regulation, or otherwise as it in take fit, delegate any function accessible by it to any such committee. However, the pro provision of the Section 88 and the 89 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria rule. The Federation, the committee has powers to consider and inquire into the report of the Auditor General for the Federation on the accounts of the Federation and to also embark on status inquiry on revenue generation and expenditures of the accounts of the Federation. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have called you this afternoon as co-partners, not only in our committee's proceedings, but as constitutionally empowered in the vineyard of constituents our concern and, this, and their CEOs towards our invitations to defend the audit queries raised against them in the Auditor General's annual report for the year ended 31st December. 2019. It is worthy to state that the committee commenced the consideration of the audit report in October 2023 with a view to presenting its report to the plenary. However, some agencies have willif willfully failed to honor invitations to defend their written responses to the audit queries as submitted to the committee secretariat. Besides the demand for submission of written responses to audit queries, Part of the committee's rules of engagement requires that accounting officers attend the committee's public hearing to respond to questions arising from the analysis of their submissions, which in turn forms a basis for informed decision on the matter by the committee. Gentlemen and ladies of the press, the desire of the Public Accounts Committee to timely discharge its constitutional and legislative functions is being delayed by the evasive and negative actions of some CEOs or accounting officers of the concerned uh, MDAs. The committee is very displeased with the attitude of foot dragging by agencies who are by law expected to respond to parliamentary invitations and account for their actions. As stated earlier, the committee has over time extended invitation ample opportunities to defend their these agencies have chosen to disregard in its report to Senate plenary. The concerned recalcitrant agencies include one, include but not limited to one, Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, two, Nigeria Mining Cadastral Office, three, Federal Inland Revenue Service. Four, Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, former DPR. Five, Nigeria Police Force. Six, Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. Seven, FCT Internal Revenue Service. Eight, Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited. Ten, Nigeria Immigration Service. 11. Federal Ministry of Women Affairs. 12. Ministry of Defense. 13. 
Nigeria Communication Satellite Limited and others. It is on this note that we as a committee have resolved that going forward, the Senate Public Accounts Committee will go ahead to consider their audit queries as contained in the Auditor General's annual report, annual report and any MDA that henceforth fails to honor invitations to respond and present its defense, the committee will adopt the position of the auditor. Also, this resolution will be added to our rules of engagement if MDS fail to improve on their attendance to invitations. That, by extension, means the committee will do the needful as provided by the rules of engagement. Nobody in this country is over the law. No. I mean, nobody is above the law. And whoever you are, whatever you think you are, Nigeria makes you. So you cannot be greater than Nigeria. And this is Nigeria. The National Assembly is Nigeria. We are sitting on mandate of Nigerians to protect their interest for the good of all. So from this point, any MDA that fails to appear, to respond, to come the invitation, to defend the queries as regards to that MDA, we will do the needful. The queries are here, the queries of the various uh, uh, MDAs, that this is where we are. And from this point, we will call the bluff of whoever chief executive that fails to respond. We are on this side once more, sitting on position of mandate. We are not upon keys. We have the mandate of Nigerians that have their trust in us. Thank you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.